Hi, and welcome to Reimagine, Redesign, Recreate, a video craft project aimed at encouraging viewers, mainly you, to find more creative ways to reuse and recycle trash items. Hi, my name is Sarah, and today's recycling project will be using this soda can. Look familiar? Rivers, side of the road, middle of the street, you see them literally everywhere, except where they should be, in a recycling bin. Now, it's really easy to recycle these. All you have to do is crush them down and take them to your local recycling center. If we recycled the amount of aluminum that Americans throw away every three months, we would have enough metal to rebuild the entire U.S. airline fleet. Look at this can. Look at a plane. Can. Plane. Get the picture? As you can see, it's easy for to recycle these cans, but we don't often do it. Now, if you have no idea where the recycling center is in your area, all you have to do is go to www.therecyclingcenter.info and on that page you will see a little box that says zip code and search. All you have to do is type in your zip code, click search, and it will tell you uh, where the locations are for recycling centers in your area. The project that we will be doing today is taking this soda can and making a lantern. What you will need is, of course, a soda can, a marker, a towel for a clean workspace, and a sharp knife or blade, exacto knife, they're easy to use. Since this project involves using sharp knives and sharp edges, the younger viewers need to have adult assistance. We don't want anyone losing any thumbs out there. Now, the first step, the step that takes the longest, will be filling this can up about less than all the way full with water and putting it in a freezer for about five to six hours to freeze. The reason you want to put the can water in the can for it to freeze is so it's easier for you to cut it. The entire project after freezing should take about half an hour, so it's relatively quick. Now, after freezing your can for about five to six hours, you should have a pretty solid can full of ice and this will just make it easier when you're going to cut out the lantern shape. Now as I said earlier, you're going to want to put at least eight dots around the top and eight dots around the bottom. And preferably you can use a sharpie marker. I'm just going to be uh, doing this freehand. And so with your dots, you would see one dot at the top one dot at the bottom, and then the dot to the side of it, you would do a sort of cutting downward S curve shape. Now, it's because of these sharp objects, any younger viewers need to have adult assistance because they could cut their fingers. And even the adults need to be a little careful. And my can didn't freeze properly, so it's gonna be a little harder for me, but um, you can carry on as I attempt to cut mine. And there you go. And I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, so if I turn it a little, it's sort of a little S curve going to the bottom. And you're just going to repeat this shape or this cut all the way around your can using strong strokes and you're gonna have to definitely make sure you cut the can because sometimes it just looks like you made a little indent on the surface and it's, it's not going to cut through and it'll be harder when the can starts uh, thawing out and the water starts coming out of it and then you just continue this until you finish cutting all the way around. Okay, welcome back. You should have had at least enough time for your can to be completely thawed out, no water inside, and uh, hopefully dry it off a little. Mine is still a little wet, um, but that's okay. It should work either way. Now, what we're going to do now is put both your hands on the ends of the uh, of the can and just 
gradually push it. And once you pushed it like that, some two parts or however many will probably go in and you're going to want to use that screwdriver or piece of metal stick apparatus and just use it to flip out the ends that are, there you go, the ones that are inside. And just preferably don't use your fingers because they're still sharp edges and these, uh, the can still can cut you. So just be careful. Um, but I'm going to use my finger because I'm just going to be very careful. Um, but I don't recommend it. Um, if you can, exercise as much caution as possible and just use this, the um, screwdriver or stick. Okay. Now, I will push the two ends toward each other. Just like that. Like so, um, 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 um. and now I will have this general shape right here. It doesn't look perfect because now we will take our screwdriver or metal and just take it and twirl it toward the bottom and then twirl it toward the top, rounding it out a little. And you're going to want to do that for each uh, each little blade, I guess that's what I'll call them. And and just keep working at it and you should start getting the sides that are more rounded rather than the pointy sharp ones. And that will take, I mean depending on how picky you are about it, should take maybe five to ten minutes. I'm just going to be doing a cursory rounding, I guess. And okay. By now, you should now have your finished project. A little lantern looking soda can and the good thing about this now is that you can cut out two of the strips and where the bottom of the can would have been you can place a little tea light like so again be very careful with these knives one two cut again with the very careful sewing motion Or at first, you're going to want to cut it out like that. Make sure you don't slip and cut off your finger on the other side. So just make sure you keep it out of the way. And never cut towards yourself. And we have one end that is cut out. Now for the second end. Sorry, I bent my can a little. I'm gonna cut up this one. And this also gives you a chance to, if you messed up and cut your can by accident, to cut out the pieces that you messed up on. And so your can doesn't look, your lantern doesn't have, uh, doesn't look weird when you're done. Let's see, I had accidentally cut it in half. So I just lift it right in the middle. Now I'm just going to hold it at the top. Using very careful cutting, cut that piece off and cut that piece off, and finally cut this piece off. And you can always shape out or curve in any jagged edges that you think will not look good or you think might be a little dangerous for when you're trying to touch it. Don't push with your fingers. Um, I'm just doing it because I'm being careful. And then this end, push it down. And there you go. 
Now you have a perfect little opening to put your little tea light inside. I'm sorry that I don't have one to show you with, uh, but as you can see, there's enough room. Put a little tea light and the light will filter out and it'll make a very pretty little lantern out of something that would have just been on the side of the road or something that you thought just went in a recycling bin. But again, aluminum cans can be recycled and I strongly encourage that you do recycle them. But uh, here's a fun little craft that you can do using a soda can. And that concludes Reimagine, Redesign, Recreate. We have taken a soda can and made it into a cute little lantern or tea light holder. And you have found out more ways to find a recycling center, things you can do with your can, and what you should do with your can. Put it in a recycling bin. I have been Sarah, you have been my fellow crafty, and I hope that you join me next week for another craft. And I also hope that you post your own video response to this video, showing yourself making a paper, uh, sorry, making a soda can lantern, and probably showing me other ideas of what to do with soda cans. Be creative. Look at that soda can. Reimagine it. Come up with a new design. Redesign it. And then go out and recreate.